Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from visualnights.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a very simple and easy glowing effect in the material editor. Let's start by creating a sphere. We go to the material editor, go to the, your slot which is available, and we're going to choose a standard material and we'll, we are going to change the diffuse color. Let's say it's a bit red. Just going to drag this color on the sphere. Well, not much really, so we're going to add this glow effect. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set the self-illumination to 100. Not much of a change, is it? Go to the rendering menu and click on effects. We're going to add a lens effect, and the lens effect exists out of different kinds of glowing effects like this glow effect here. Click on the arrow or double click on glow. Now that glow has been added to this lens effect, let's change the radial color. We're going to change it more to orange. Um, something very important now we're going to do is we're going to attach a material ID to this glow effect. Check the material ID button and as you can see we have material ID number one. We also need to set this number here in the material editor. By default this is zero. Now that we've matched the material IDs, the glow will be placed on this material. Let's render again, and we have a glow. Of course you have to play a little bit with the intensity and the size of the glow. The size is the radius from, let's say, the outer edges of the glow, till the inner edge of the glow, till the sphere. Also, changing the intensity and glow behind will have a larger effect on how the glow appears. You can change with the specular level to give your sphere a more, more rounder effect. You can see it a little better because this, well, this uh, light, you could say, it's placed on the middle of the sphere. This is about it for this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask us. Um, and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.